morning. It's Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Wait For and On Each Other. And our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, where Paul writes to the Corinthian believers, So anyone who eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord unworthily is guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. That is why you should examine yourself before eating the bread and drinking the cup. For if you eat the bread or drink the cup without honoring the body of Christ, you are eating and drinking God's judgment upon yourself. That is why many of you are weak and sick, and some have even died. But if we would examine ourselves, we would not be judged by God in this way. Yet, when we are judged by the Lord, we are being disciplined, so that we will not be condemned along with the world. So, my dear brothers and sisters, when you gather for the Lord's Supper, wait for each other. As a pastor, I have served communion to many people. One of the things I've hated about the last two years of COVID-19 is missing that holy moment of looking into the eyes of people who come to the table. It was always an honor and high privilege to break the bread and place it into the hands of those who loved Christ and humbly held out a hand to receive. I belong to a group of fellow pastors that meets monthly for fellowship and accountability. We share ministry ideas, we discuss current events in church life, and try hard to offer each other support space. We don't solve problems or leap tall buildings in a single bound. Of course, we do eat. Invariably, we share the loaf and cup as the finale to our meeting. We serve each other face to face, uttering those treasured words, the body of Christ given for you, the cup of Christ shed for your healing. And it's certainly a healing moment for a spiritual strength. I've never left such a time without a sense of renewed spiritual energy and joy. For that reason, among many others, I'm certain that the enemy, that old slew-footed serpent Lucifer, has relished COVID-19 social distancing. It's not only crippled the intimate nature of fellowship around the table, but in some cases derailed many local churches from meeting together at all for worship. On a more positive note, I believe the church has found something exists that needed to surface. Determination, perseverance, that intangible spiritual toughness that takes on the challenges God's enemy throws in our pathway. It's that nearly undefinable quality of spiritual fortitude, a reserve called forth in response to the Spirit's bidding, which says, we're going to serve Him no matter what. The church of the roaring troubled twenties reminds me of Job sitting in the ashes, grieving, covered with boils, ridiculed by most people who knew him, being questioned as to why God was punishing him and why he would even consider continuing to breathe. Job's answer was a resounding stone-faced glare of steel, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. For you today. There are two reminders for each of us in Paul's letter to the Corinthian believers here, as well as Job's faithful response to his critics. Number one, we need to wait for each other. Don't forget that the body moves together or it comes apart. Secondly, we need to wait on each other. The strength I need is something you exhibit and share with me, and that which keeps you going does not come entirely from within you. Thou and I share the same pulse when we consider one loaf, one body. Life is in the blood, brother. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.